This book reading was recorded with permission from Morgan James Publishing. Hi boys and girls, my name is Brittany and I'm going to read you a book today called Pippin No Drippin. Pippin No Drippin by Lane Eady and Linda Pierce. for Aaron, Lizzie, Pip, and my family. The days when it rained were really the worst. Plans for outside went away and would burst. Climbing some trees or just racing around, like everything else had all been shut down. Oh no, Pippin thought as he raced to the door, for the clouds surely looked like there would be much more. Hey mama, he cried, what am I gonna do? I can't go out now, and it's making me blue. Can I have some screen time since I'm all alone and play some fun games on my tablet or phone? Then Mama just paused in that curious way when she started to think of just what to say. Pippin, you're so full of imagination. I'm sure you can use it in this situation. Just look all around and use that smart noggin. I don't think you need electronics to log in. So Pippin went through the house, top to bottom, and got pretty down till something cool caught him. A colorful page on the magazine stand for a big football game with a loud marching band. That's it, Pippin cried, for he knew what to do. He'd make his own band, and with just one cat, too. The kitchen was where he would start at square one. As he rummaged through drawers, it was so very fun. He found a big bowl that would probably work as a big booming bass drum, so he gave it a jerk. And when it came free, he just happened to see two metal pot lids that could most likely be just perfect for making a cymbal crash sound. So he took his three things and he set them all down. Next, he would need a tight sounding snare and a wrapped tissue box was sitting right there. It was coming together. He was getting excited. Just a couple more things and his plan was green lighted. An order of drumsticks he needed to fill, and that pair of wood spoons would sure fit the bill. Then that last thing he needed was some melody, and he thought and he thought, only what could it be? Then it hit him quite quickly, as things often do. He still had in his drawer his red plastic kazoo. He took all of his things and arranged them just so, on the floor in his room, in nice tidy rows. Then he grabbed his drumsticks in between his front toes and positioned a paw to kick out the lows. His kazoos coiled up in his tail just like so, held up to his mouth, he was ready to blow. But one thing was missing, he wasn't quite sure, and wonderfully, Mama stood right in the door. Papa came too, the excitement was mounting, and just at that moment, they both started counting. One, two, three, four, Clang, boom, chick, clang, boom, chick, do, do, crash. You're riffin', said Mama. You're jammin', said Papa. And the smile on his face quickly grew to a whopper. I guess I was wrong, Pippin said of indoors. There's plenty to do whenever it pours. The end. Thank you for listening, boys and girls.